Hello, and thank you for joining us. I am honored as the Assistant Secretary for Health at the United States Department of Health and Human Services to speak with you today. We are thrilled to join our esteemed partners at the American Society of Nephrology to launch Phase 2 of the incredibly important Kidney X Artificial Kidney Prize. Kidney disease is very serious, with 37 million Americans affected at a cost of more than $100 billion per year in the United States alone. Current treatment methods have not significantly changed in more than 60 years, though. The best treatment for kidney failure is transplantation, but the supply of organs addresses only a small fraction of the need. Those on dialysis face a 50% mortality rate within the first five years of treatment. Communities of color are disproportionately affected. While black or African Americans make up about 13.5% of the population, they make up more than 35% of dialysis patients. This is unacceptable and a prime example of the important work at hand. Because of its importance, the Biden-Harris administration created Executive Order 13985, ensuring that government works better for all Americans. We have more work to do to ensure that all communities that HHS serves have the opportunity to access and experience optimal health and well-being. Ensuring a healthier future for all people living in the United States is a priority of Secretary Becerra and a priority of mine. The HHS Equity Action Plan is a vital step towards fulfilling this mission. We are very hopeful that Phase 2's focus on the integration and advancement of artificial kidney prototypes will result in breakthroughs that ensure a healthier future and includes eliminating health disparities. We look forward to seeing the hard work of the interested entrants provide innovation and acceleration toward a much needed solution for kidney disease.